Hi, welcome to Mom's Time Out. My name's Kat. This is Allie, Tammy, and Lily. Today we're going to be discussing children's movies and television shows. Who wants to get us started? Have you guys had any experiences at the movie theater with your children? Have you taken them? Just once. Just now, once. how old are your kids? I have a four-year-old boy and a two-year-old girl. I have a three-year-old girl, and we've been in the movie theater a couple times. And it hasn't been the most pleasant experience. The, I think the movies are just over the kids' heads, so she doesn't get in, into it, and she doesn't want to sit down, and everybody else in the movie theater is sitting down, so you don't really want to encourage the behavior of standing up and walking around. Right. So what do you do? So we just stop going. No, what about you? I have a two-year-old daughter. Have you been to the movie theater with her? No. Not yet? Why? My mother. If she Are you afraid she's not going to sit still? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Why I, feel, I feel the same way with my two-year-old. I have a um, two-year-old daughter, I have a five-year-old son, and I have a six-year-old daughter. And the five and six-year-old are fine now, but then it's the toddler. She does. She wants to get up. She wants to move around. She wants to talk. And then I feel bad because we all want to go as a family, and it costs a lot of money, you know, for all of us to go as a family, and then either I'm going to have to go out with our toddler or my husband's going to have to go out with the toddler. So... We're gonna miss out on the movie. We can't go out as a family because she wants to stuff. No. Have you been to the theater? Just the once, and luckily it was free. Uh, my kids' issues are if someone's eating anywhere near them, they have to eat too. So right away it was I have to eat, I have to eat. I brought snacks, but I couldn't make them wait any longer. We waited 20 minutes into the movie, but it wasn't enough. Other people in the theater were still eating, and they just started getting rambunctious of the movement, you know, they couldn't sit still any longer, so we left after about half an hour. So I'm glad it was free. Even for the four-year-old, he just couldn't do it yet. He wouldn't sit? No, no, he wouldn't sit. It was, you know, of them going <clears throat> stiff-bodied and just falling on the floor, worried they were going to kick the person in front of them. With it being a free movie, it was very crowded. So I know, so you right always there. feel bad, like you're wondering, like, to you, you know, obviously, I think sometimes you think it's so much worse than it obviously is, because your daughter yeah. or your son, and they're mm -hmm. acting up, and you're just like, oh my gosh, they're making a huge scene, and everybody's watching you. Right, you yes. Think it's everyone, everyone's focusing on you, and you're walking out, you're like, you're all warm, you're starting to sweat, and everyone's I'm looking so at you. us, <laughs> they're going to be talking about us later. And you know, I, I've apologized, too. Have I'm, you really? I'm sorry. I'm like, it's okay. I'm like, As I'm you're seriously. leaving? Like, or well, you're in the movie theater. The first time, I was like, I'm sorry. You know, the people behind us. And it's like, it's okay. And yeah, they're probably wanting to kick me out. And I'm just like, it's okay. But I guess if they're experienced parents, they know that it's not easy for most yeah. kids to sit. That's true. I just wish there were movies out there that she would want to sit through. That's the problem. Yeah, that's the problem. would want to sit through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because if you think about the movies that have been out there, even like the cartoon or the animated movies, if you were to put a regular actor in that place, it wouldn't be appropriate for a child. Right. I mean, there's certain ones I can think of right now. There's one that came out well, like last month that I'm not sure would be appropriate if it was a live one with actors. And again, I don't think my toddler would sit through. We never went to go see that movie, but... I highly doubt she would sit through. She needs like interaction. She needs to be able to get up. She needs to, I don't know, she just needs to be active during a film. They've got too much energy. Right, to be they need off. to get it out. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we, my husband doesn't really want to take her to movies anymore until she gets older. We just, we get them honestly on Netflix at home. Or right, why waste your time going out when you know yeah. what you're going to do is turn back around and have to go home. And it's at least... Let's just go back, here's 50 bucks, see you later, yeah, that's what it is, 40 or <laughs> $50, except, you know, she's, she wants popcorn. I want popcorn at the movies, that's the big thing. So then you have to get pop, and then you pay for the tickets. And then to sit down, you hurry up and you eat all your little snacks during the previews, yeah. and then they're done. They don't want to sit through the show. Yeah. And mine's very strong-willed. 
If she wants to get up and do something, she's going to get up. Okay. There's a new film that's coming out, and we were fortunate enough to go see the premiere. It's called Oogie Loves. It's the Oogie Loves and the Big Balloon Adventure. And this movie is awesome, especially for the toddlers, because they encourage the children to get up. You get to dance. You get to sing. There's different phrases they get to do throughout the movie. It was all three of my kids loved it. I think this Did you is, like it? I, I could tolerate it, too. Because some of those little kid shows, it's just like, <laughs> I'm going to need like a bottle of aspirin just to sit yeah. through. But Sometimes I, I get used to it. start to love them. <laughs> I've done that. There's, been, I, there's a few TV shows where I'm like, oh, I can't stand this. And then after a month or so, I love it. I'm singing along with them. And good thing you guys can't see me in the house sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've even been singing a little Oogie Love. Our house. It's oogie, oogie, oogie love. <laughs> they love it and they want to go see it again. We're going to go see it again. Good. We're going to go ahead and we'll put it on our calendar and maybe we'll even go see it twice. Three times. We'll all go together. Your kids are going to love it. Seriously. It's so much fun. We've been looking forward to it since we saw the previews. There's little, um, there's cues too that comes across the screen because my big concern was okay, you got my toddler out of the seat. She's all excited. She's dancing. Now, how are you going to get her back to her seat? You know, how am I going to, is she going to be screaming and yelling when I'm like, sit back down, you know? But um, there's little turtles that go across the screen to let you know it's time to just sit back down, you know, relax. And she did, because she wanted to see what's going to happen next. Aww. And they're, they're going after balloons, so that's why it's the big balloon adventure. And what child doesn't love balloons? So she was very excited to see what's going to happen to the balloons. So you guys think you're going to... Definitely. Oh, yeah. Yeah? yeah. Are you excited? I'm trying again. Yeah. Here's a question for you. Will you get up out of your seats? As the mom, will you get up out of your seat? Because you know what? I was really surprised at how many people during the premiere didn't get up. My son was one of them, too, because he's been taught since he was little when we first started going to the theater that you're supposed to sit there, be quiet, and just watch. Don't ask questions. Don't get out of your seat, you know? <laughs> So when it, the butterflies come across <coughs> to signify it's time to dance, <coughs> he's just like this. He's like, he's kind of starting to dance a little bit, but then he won't get up. <coughs> did you get up? I did. Oh, yeah. I got up. I'll get up. Yeah. I yeah. think I would, too. I never thought I would <coughs> until I was a parent. Exactly. Now that I'm a parent, I sing at the local library story mm -hmm. times, and I never thought I would. So I could see myself. Enjoying getting it, up and dancing, getting up and motivating the kids to get up too. I think they look up to mom too. They watch mom. What is mom doing? If mom's gonna sit there in her seat when it's time to dance. I don't think they are. The only thing you have to be mindful of is like little kids behind you. But I'm pretty sure in most of the theaters they can still see. Or they can switch they places with the parents. Yeah, yeah, that's true. They can do every other like child, parent, child, parent. So yeah, that dance in the too. aisle, sit near the aisle. Yeah, and there's that space too, like down in front almost. Yeah. Like when yeah. you first walk in, you know, like between like the seats are really close to the screen, you know, and the ones are further back, they can dance there too. Yeah. She still has to see good down there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I can't wait. Yeah. It's going to be fun. I know that Maddie's going to lose her mind when she goes again. Because she has been singing the little song the entire time. That's a Fat time. Like it. Oh yeah. She really likes that. Is there a CD out yet? I don't think so. I don't know. That's a good question because they would really enjoy the music. Yeah. I'm looking forward to getting the CD and putting it in the car. <coughs> Need something new. The car's getting stale. <laughs> That'll keep you going in the morning. Same music. <laughs> you over and over. <laughs> you were going to bring up something too, weren't you, about how some of the movies or some of the television shows are too active? Like they. Yes, they move too fast and they're not made for younger children, they're made for older children. And um, still two-year-olds, preschoolers are still watching these TV shows and their brain gets too tired, they get exhausted. After they watch it, they can either be too tired to learn things they're supposed to be learning when they're interacting with you, or they have problems focusing. So I think this, with characters moving through like a normal person's pace would be. Mm -hmm. um, I think that would be a good choice for a child to watch, toddler or preschooler. 
That's interesting. I never thought about that before. Yeah, I actually saw it on a TV show a couple years ago, a oh, talk show. Yeah. yeah. It always stuck with me. It makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. It yeah. really does. There's just too much going on sometimes and too fast that their eyes just probably can't keep up with everything. It's too much to take in. I, I always try to avoid those shows, even though my husband sometimes <laughs> likes those shows. It's a show he likes, so he likes to watch with the kids. So once in a while, we do. But I, I prefer something slower paced, and there are quite a few of them. But to have a movie come out that also has kids up in burning energy is a great thing. Yeah, that's another concern, too, is like when it comes to the treats and the candy that the kids get when they first walk in, all you're doing is sitting and just eating, you know? I mean, you're not burning any calories at all. You're just consuming. Some of those boxes have at least two, two and a half servings in it, too. And I've seen moms be like, here, here's an entire box. And the kids are watching the movie. They're not paying attention. They're going to eat them all. So it is nice. I mean, it gets them up out of their seats and well, they're popcorn. popcorn's like 1,200 calories, I heard. With butter, with the movie theater butter, it could be up to twelve hundred, depending on how they make it. And does it kill oh my God. I, you know, when I was younger, you know, we, I guess I split it with my dad, but. But you're distracted. I mean, you're just you're sitting there, you're watching the film the entire time, and so you're just, you know, slowly just. I could see yeah. that happening where you would just eat all of it. Yeah. That is a lot of calories to consume in like two hours. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Especially for a little kid. And I think I like the subject matter. It seems simpler. It is. Mm -hmm. It's really nice too. And it's appropriate for children because some of the movies tend to have uh, the violence or um, someone, even like bullying these days. You can see it in some movies. Mm -hmm. And this one, I think it's perfect. Oogie Loves, there's, there's no violence. It's very much kid friendly, but there's also like slight um, undertones of adult humor that we get too. There's, if there's cute little things that you'll catch, so like you're paying attention, you know, and and the uh, stars that are in it, you're gonna recognize too. Oh, really? Which is pretty neat, yeah, because the kids aren't gonna know who they all are. Be like, oh, I know who this is or who that is, and there's one. Um, oh shoot, now I can't remember the scene. I remember thinking it was so funny. Oh. There's the fish. It's a miracle, you know. And um, Jamie Presley goes to kiss him, and then she's like, "Holy mackerel!" <laughs> so like that's one yeah. of those where yeah. adults would get it, but yeah. it's like, "Oh, she just kissed a fish," you know. Yeah. Um, the vacuum's name is Jay Edgar. Oh, I gosh. thought that was so cute as soon as he was on the screen. Um, so those are ways that like the adults can tolerate it and stuff. But um, the clothing too is appropriate. Because I know when it comes to my kids, they're starting, the five and six year old are starting to become interested in programs that are more appropriate for like 13 and 14 year olds. And it's hard to explain to them why we're not watching those programs. Or it comes on after they're watching something, like, why can't we watch this? And it's just the clothing, what they're discussing, it's just not appropriate for young kids. Even the cartoon movies on, in the movie theaters, some of the subject matter just really surprises me and they're drawing young kids in well and you know what um what was the one um uh, green lantern wasn't that rated like pg-13 or something probably <coughs> super cute. excuse me it's probably average. i don't know i sure. think it was and they started um giving out those kids meal toys oh. one of the fast food places did and i noticed they do that a lot with some of these movies Maybe it's mostly for boys. I've noticed that a lot of this is boys. The action figures and everything else. And they can't even, my son at least, we're not going to let him go see half these movies. No. But they have all the toys out there. They have all the little Happy Meal toys. And so the kids are going to want it. And they're eventually going to want to see the movie. And that kind of irritates me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It'd be nice to have just like Jay Edgar. You know, let's get him in a Happy Meal. I'd love that. So your kids have no nightmares, no monsters in their rooms after this? No, thank goodness. Yeah, you bring up a good point, because that does happen. Even like The Wizard of Oz, 
That's a scary movie. Yes, yeah. my daughter saw it and she was terrified. For like two weeks she wanted to sleep with us because she was afraid the witch was going to come get her. 